Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 5th of September. There continues to be a really expansive vibe pulsating around the heavens and pushing you forwards to go outside your comfort zone. This is coming from the Sun's and also Mercury's occupation of your sector of new experiences and adventure, but Mercury does continue to track backwards. So it is going to be important that even if you are physically on the move or booking some holiday time away, that you're very precise in what you can influence because, of course, Mercury retrograde can cause some glitches. It's also possible that you may be thinking about a legalistic matter, but with Mars clashing with the Sun for most of this week and also a quarter moon on Friday emphasising the same sector, there could be a potential for you to almost amplify the importance of one point of principle beyond where it's really rightly meant to be. Now that's not to say that you don't have the right to be a little bit uh, angry or dissatisfied with someone's conduct or behaviour, but don't oxygenate it too much if someone does irritate you. If it's a much more serious situation where you need some formal legal advice, then perhaps you will have to engage in this way. But Mars can just stir things up a little bit and bring to the surface things in a bit more of a volatile way that perhaps normally wouldn't be so unsettling for you. Fortunately, the Sun in Virgo is forging a fine link with tiny Pluto in your sign. And it's possible that something you've been working towards for a very long time, in terms of widening your horizons, raising your consciousness, is actually stepping up several gears. And this may help you to deal with any stresses or strains that come up. Also, someone rather influential, but quite worldly and wise, could very quietly behind the scenes give you some excellent advice. The trick in life is to know when to be more receptive to what we're told. Obviously a lot of information comes in our direction these days. But I think with Jupiter, the planet of fortune, expansion and growth, also reaching the high point in your horoscope and starting a year's occupation on Friday too, you're going to find yourself much more in demand over this 12 month period and perhaps also mixing with more influential types of people. Whatever skills or talents you have are going to be in vogue, but also you may seek out their support as well. It can be a mutual process. Jupiter, of course, is very much to do with knowledge, but in the sign of Libra, it's to do with fairness as well. And I think if you apply that to all your professional and worldly interactions, you won't go far wrong. But I just think the volatility of that clash between the Sun and Mars this week could rock you a little bit. So keeping a sense of perspective and staying calm is going to help you to just rise above things and make your way through it. And as I said, seeking that wise counsel is going to be a very smart thing to do indeed. But of course, Venus is the planet of loving. And in this part of your horoscope, it suggests that you may be starting to take your love life a lot more seriously. But something you do discreetly could actually be just as important as full on trying to flirt with someone or to alert them to their uh, to your interest. Your body language or someone's else or someone else's could be quite interesting this week. So do for that. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.